Hello everyone, welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today we're going to be having a look at a game played between Creator and Ragnarok from the most recent Oli Molik. Um, on Submarine we see that Creator managed to block the natural base of, Na of Ragnarok, which usually uh, indicates some type of glaive build, or at least a fake glaive build. So most likely going to be seeing a Adept, Warp Gate, and then whatever tech uh, Creator fancies today now on submarine pretty small map sometimes you'll see the adepts even being able to do something here first four links are on the way here for ragnarok now usually if you build four links uh, the two links that pop out of the natural base will try to go around the map try to get a scout into that main base or at least ooh, okay scout won't be as necessary anymore as warp gate is being skipped uh, or at least it's not really being skipped right but it's just being delayed which means that ragnarok will know that most likely it's going to be a Stargate. Also, very low chance of Stalker first. Even Stalker second is pretty rare. You see a Chrono Boost on the second gateway unit as well. And here we see the links that I was talking about earlier are trying to make their way around to get that scout. Overlord will do just fine though. Um, is going to be able to see that it is a Stargate indeed. So basically confirming what Ragnarok already knew. Because after seeing the lack of Warp Gate, most likely it's going to be a Stargate. Twilight doesn't make a lot of sense. You can technically play a, a Fargate DT drop, but in, in in the current meta, well, it's just not a very good build anymore. Zerks have figured it out pretty much. Uh, even if their response is inefficient, they'll still be ahead majority of the time. So um, we'll, we'll see what Curator manages to do from here. Shades two adapts into the main base. I like that. Four more links are on the way. All of them will pop out in the main, but they're going to be too late for this shade. Uh, at least so three workers do go down drone pool being used fourth worker fifth worker will fall as well i think ah, it's close it's close but no cigar four workers very big drone pool definitely worth it here for creator who uh who kills four workers and four is a big drone pool now that's usually quite good follows it up with an oracle into phoenix there's a lot of links for us at all that's 10 links how many links have died already two so Honestly, a good start right here for uh, for Creator. As long as he doesn't lose this adapt, um, he's gonna be pretty happy here. Oracle did decide to turn back, but now with the second adapt out, Creator is gonna be an absolutely fine spot. Let's see gas number three and number four go go down. Um, usually, oh, there was a pause. You see the third base um, being built before gas three and four, unless you lose the first two adapts. In that case, you take gas three and four, you get a robo, you take it from there. Oracle is not gonna die, gets three worker kills. So actually a very good start here for Creator, who also managed to somehow supply block Ragnarok. Is that with the Phoenix? Yeah, I got, got the one Overlord kill. He missed this Overlord, which sucks a bit for him, but might be able to get something done over here. Three adapts will be able to take this third base here. Is that a second robo? No, that's still the first robo. Man, robotics are said at these builds slow. Feels like it should be done already. Oh well. What do I know? Second oracle on the way as well. Everything feels a little bit late, honestly, here for creator. There's no extra tech behind this either. Um, Roach Warren is on the way here for Ragnarok. I mean, this combination is not going to be able to do anything. It's way too low HP. Uh, even though the queen count is super low as well. Such a weird game. I guess Ragnarok really feeling the the bad early game here with the, the seven drones lost. Like the first four minutes of the game. It's not quite what you want usually. Um, also oversupplying a, a decent amount. Seven roaches on the way. Oh, this is going to be... I, I kind of missed it, but... Uh, okay, Roach Warren gets spotted. And um, that's kind of a big tell. This is way too early for a Roach Warren. Another tell would be, if you're wondering, is the... The gas timing on the third base. Now, I love that he faked, sent, or well, he sent drones over here, so it's harder to see that it's a Rochalin just based on the drone count. Now, the way you want to respond to this as a Protoss player, majority of the time, is you cancel your third base, you don't try to defend it, and then you counter attack with your oracles while continuing oracle production at home. Uh, getting batteries, maybe a cannon, maybe two cannons, two, three batteries, all in your natural. And you just try to kill as many workers as possible. And with two oracles, even if one of them is a bit damaged, if there's not a single queen defending, you can get six, seven workers very, very easily uh, if you micro well. Get six, seven workers, you go in again afterwards, you get like five more. Uh, and then eventually you push it back. You'll be at like 55 workers on two base. You should have plus one ready. Now, creator is picking a, a different angle here. He's 
Gonna try to defend with a lot of sentries, a lot of force fields. With a couple of batteries and a good early game, it might be possible, but it's a lot less uh, consistent in the approach. So um, we're, we're definitely going to be able to, we're going to be seeing a struggle here. Is what I'm trying to say here for, uh, for Creator with the hold as um, he needs to split his units in two places right now. He needs to hold the third phase, trying to hold that natural as well. Stasis Ward's doing quite some work. There's only two oracles right here, right now. Queens are trying to do some damage onto those. Those oracles. oracles are running out of energy though, and uh, it's starting to look a little bit dark here for Creator, who still has three Immortals left over. He hasn't used the battery overcharge yet, so that's still available as well. Uh, he's actually doing a very good job microing all of this so far. We'll just zoom out for a bit here. Pylon does get caught here and depowers the gateway. Uh, one Immortal will fall, slow kick up there with the Prism. All the Queens are down at this point as well. This is actually going to get pushed back beautifully. Here by uh, Crater. I I didn't think it was going to be such a clean hold. Um, I, I guess he's not completely out of the woods yet, but I mean he's just he's just up 20 supply right now, or like 10 supply. Uh, he's equal in workers. This is absolutely fantastic. Oh, Ling Rambai into the main base is gonna suck a little bit, but as oracles are close by, should not do, be able to do too much damage. Might lose a. Three, four probes here. This actually is gonna cost uh, Ragnarok a lot more than it cost Creator. Two workers go down and he loses what, 20, 15 links? Those are pretty good trades if you ask me. Of course I'm not a Zerg expert, but I did finish elementary school, so I, I do know that. Generally that isn't the greatest trade. Now, units lost is in favor of Creator, meaning that uh, Ragnarok lost more units. Ragnarok somehow managed to get back up to 70 workers so quick. No fourth base yet though, and uh, might be struggling with a little bit of a counter attack. Ooh, Robo Bay on the way. Plus one Robo Bay. Is there a Twilight yet? No, there's no Twilight. Okay, so not going to be charged or anything. Twilight is on the way right now. Only 61 workers. More workers are in production. Yeah, of course, it doesn't matter too much uh, if you only have 61 workers against a Zerg that's on three base, right? Income is going to be so close. Even if Ragnarok would have 85 workers at this point, it would be irrelevant. If he doesn't have a fourth base, he can't use the extra workers to, uh, to actually saturate a base. If you, if you don't have the base. Got a long distance mine, I guess, but not quite brilliant. Even supply, always good for Protoss. We see three oracles still on the map over here. Six queens. Uh, four, four of those are here. Trying to spread some creep as the creep spread is absolutely terrible. Of course, a, a product of the early game. Trying to do an all-in usually uh, does not allow for too much focus on the creep spread. Very rare to see that. What's a Ravager count? 12 Ravagers. We see 21 Banelings being morphed right now, as well as plus one melee getting closer to finishing up. I would have loved to just see a standard style as a follow-up here, like some Charge Archon stuff. So powerful from Oracle. The Blink into Colossus. It's very good, and especially on this map where you have uh, a lot of choky areas, right? You have chokes. Basically, this is Choke City right here. Uh, another two Adapt Shade into the natural. I love this, the the consistency at which he does it. I mean, it won't work out, but it's a cool way to try and get rid of the Adepts that you have in your army. They're, they're quite useless, generally. Fourth base is very late here for Creator. I think he's giving Ragnarok a little bit too much time to get back into this game. So Ragnarok uh, managed to pump out a couple more drones. Getting his uh, infestation pit started as well, and might even be thinking about going to a hive. Plus two on the way, and I wouldn't be surprised to see some uh, some run buys or some 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 type of attack here from Ragnarok, trying to get some damage on the other side of the map. Drone count is still not massive, but he just he's sprinkling in drones here, guys. He's he's not doing the 10, 15 drones at a time. He's doing two, three with a couple of units. Here we get seven right now. He's gonna go up to 79 workers, and that's a healthier drone count than. Uh, he's been at all game. Creep spread is starting to look healthy as well, especially through the middle. Now there's still some avenues of attack that are completely open and creepless. Um, think this area, think this area, and this area to a certain extent. But the middle is uh, pretty well saturated with creep over here. Actually, uh, reaching the other side of the map at this point. So a couple of tumors can uh, can make. Okay, can, can do a lot of work in very little time. 
You have this base being taken right now by Creator. Creator is playing so slow for how far ahead he was. I think he's going to be setting up for a big max push, but I feel like he could have been poking and, and prodding for a long time, trying to get some creep uh, to, to retreat back uh, into, into the Zerg bases, basically. Trying to get that creep back on Ragnarok's side of the map. <clears throat> because now it's going to be really difficult for uh, for creator to move out even though there's lots of chokes here you don't want to be fighting on creep with colossi that's the one thing you you generally don't want to do um, the thing that ragnarok does want to do though is he wants to set up flanks he wants to set up big concaves maybe even run bys or uh, some type of base trade army already as he's tacking into hive uh, into that spire most likely going to be the greater spire I wouldn't even mind seeing him add one or two uh, investors for the fungal here. Fungal to hold in place, have to try and catch some of the sentries and then the bailings to, to truly connect. Is we'll that a run by? We we'll almost likely die once the bailings uh, finish up. So the bailings being wasted a little bit there. I think perhaps the ravagers would have been fine, but that's okay. Interesting engagement here from Ragnarok coming from through two angles there's no force fields anymore so these banelings are gonna roll in blink forward by creator this is a bad fight for creator a very very bad fight there's still some army on the left side but creator with with such a big uh maxed art <clears throat> and he had a lot of time to prepare as well for this uh for this fight like basically his entire game was set up for this and then he kind of botches the fight the, the force fields were a little haphazardly thrown down in some some weird blink forward as well and these stalkers are gonna make it out right you blink yeah there we go um, this, is, this is not an angle that Ragnarok can engage in but all of a sudden Ragnarok is pretty much back into the game there is no storm yet there's no follow-up upgrades plus one armor starts right now but that's a little bit late honestly here for a creator um he, he wasn't planning on transition he was planning on winning the game there so all of his investment was into that initial push and now that that push didn't work he's kind of doing a a panic transition he did clear a lot of creep though which is nice yeah. the oracles will be able to push back any type of ravager count as well as long as there's no anti-air of course um, oracles usually rule supreme reign supreme i should say you have a bailing uh, run by being set up the uh, trader was setting up his own zealot run by and we'll figure out what's kicking off should be able to warp in something here whether that's a a couple of Templar or a couple of Stalkers to deal with those Banelings or even just sending your Oracles uh, is going to be just fine as well. Their Oracle is over here. It's gonna take this as a fifth base. Very interesting expanding pattern for both players really. Just going for that uh, massive line formation over here. Um, these Oracles need to be microed in order to to properly get stuff done. This pylon might fall. Yes, pylon falls. A lot of probes could die here as well. Yeah, Oracle's coming to save the day. Prism uh, with charge holds, hopefully. Charge is finished, right? Yeah, yeah there is charge, good. Uh, Vipers as well, coming to the front right now with some energy. It might be quite dangerous here <clears throat> for Creator. And what's there really in his army splash wise uh, there's a bunch of storms available not that many archons decent immortal count as well but uh this is mainly a lot of stocks this is not the engagement you want to take like right? off of creep all from one angle storm is way too strong in that case and uh Ragnar kind of throwing away his lead here that he that he kind of built up over a, a long game of grinding out almost no mistakes after that terrible early game he had Salad warping in the main base, Ling run by towards the left side, but Creator is in time to deal with that. Oh yeah, 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 this is looking very, very bad for Ragnarok all of a sudden. Lost a bunch of workers, doing quite some tech as well. What did he all lose? Um, he lost a pool apparently. I think the, the, the spirals over here, so that's nice. There is blink out, there's a mothership on the way. And there is plus three attack on the way as well. So we're actually going to be able to have a decent army in case Broodlords pop out. He'll at least be able to survive, a Creator that is. Sometimes uh, Zerg can lose a lot and then they just push with Brute Lords and the Toss dies, but I think that's not going to be a thing. This base is way too vulnerable, by the way. It's never going to survive. Uh, it's way too far out of the way. I think this is a far superior fifth base, and Creator also realizing it is going to end up taking that. Carriers on the way, which I think this is more of a Tempest game, honestly. Uh, relatively low eco, not a lot of creep. Um, carriers work well if you can get a lot of them. We're talking six, seven carriers. 
this does not feel like a game where it's going to be very easy for a creator to just transition into six, seven carriers with good air upgrades, which are of course necessary. Tempest, however, would be pretty easy to get out. You need a little less supply for it as well. And there's not that much money here for, for Ragnarok to work with. So getting a good late game army is going to be difficult. So far, it's just cor Corruptor, Brute Lord, really. A couple of Vipers, I guess. Plus one air on the way here. For creator, who's kind of losing this as a fifth base. Needs to be a bit more careful defending those outside bases. And this is definitely uh, holdable, I would say. We're really only on well, four base. It's just four base against four base, which usually is good for Toss, of course. Um, I love this uh, this stalk army. You should have an observer with it. Maybe even with observer speed, so he can clear some creep. Um, there's nothing to hold these stalkers in place, and off creep, they're never gonna die to anything, honestly. At least I don't see it happen. Oh! There we go. Couple of queen, queens will fall. Uh, link back. And uh, he's just gonna get out of here. Perfect. A couple of storms here close by. We'll be able to save it. Uh, this army is gonna defend the left side. I like that. He does need, not need his entire army there. And it could even serve as some kind of run by army. Even though this is a pretty awkward run by army. Uh, it will probably take a while to kill drones. It's more of a building killer. You know, or like run by killer, I guess. It's not great against drones, not enough zealots. So, this run by will do absolutely nothing as the links uh, march into their death. Wondering what their commander is up to. Not paying attention. Imagine being a link. Commander falls asleep at the keyboard. Sir, they're coming. Are we allowed to move back? Sir? No response. I guess the Zerg uses the, the high phone or whatever. No radios. I guess they have a queen, so it wouldn't be Sir. Madam? Ma'am? Tip tip. Um, <laughs> we have 70 workers uh, for both players, and now we're kind of heading into that late game stage, right? Kind of heading into a late game stage. Couple of spores coming down, investors being added to the mix. Um, yeah, this is what I was talking about. It takes such a long time for Creator to get to that carrier count that he wasn't really able to push his lead that he temporarily had. I mean, he still, I think, is in a lead uh, in some ways. There's not a lot of creep. There's not a lot of bases. This map in general does not have a lot of bases. Six bases each. Um, and it's difficult to get there. I've never actually seen a six base versus six base scenario. <clears throat> Sports are pushing forward towards that natural, though. Stalkers are in position to deal with the forest. The forest of Spores. Now there's some interesting plays you can do, of course, with the mothership, some recall plays. So this army could be pushing forward at one moment, and then the other moment, bang, recalled. Just like that. It's over. Blink DT. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. Also going up to five stargates. Creator has been very careful with his army, and as a result, has a lot of money in the bank. Oh, this is painful. Losing both your attack structures. Will not be able to get plus two out or plus one armor. We're going to go into a semi-base trade here, which usually is, is better for the toss. Um, Brutlar's really bad at base trades, generally. Links are quite good at it, but this army also isn't in position. Definitely can deal with this, though. Um, yeah, I, I think this is a mistake here for, for Ragnarok. There is quite some production on the on the outside bases, at least two Stargates. I mean, the main base is, is going to take a long time for that to get broken, right? And, and really all that the creator needs to do is just clear a couple of the, the tech structures and he's gonna be fine. Uh, I like this move coming out of uh, coming out of creator, but with the or coming out of Ragnarok, with the with the oracles, if they get mic, well yes, we'll be able to actually deal with this eventually. I mean it's not gonna be fast. That was a miss. Creator was not paying attention. He still isn't. He's gonna lose one of the oracles, the other one's out of energy. Interesting recall there. Yeah, this was definitely a good trade here for a creator who still has a lot of stalkers on the map. This can be recalled, of course, with the mothership recall. So the first Nexus recall was used. Now there's still a mothership recall, um, which means this stalkers kill a base and then just can't go back. I mean, yeah, this is why you don't really base trade with brute lords. Honestly, it's just so slow recall. Hello? No? All right. Fair play to you, my friend. I tip my hat to you, good sir. Buy some reddit gold. 
Like, that was pretty sad on me. We should have definitely recalled that. That's a big uh, pool. That's another big pool. That's a dead mothership right there. I would love to see, to have seen Tempest here, honestly. Tempest here would have been sick. But I think he's still going to be in a fine spot here with the carriers. There's no real tech out for... Uh, wait, I lie. The Hive is still up. The Spire is still up. Uh, he's fine. What the hell? Infestation Pit. I guess if this Hive falls, that means no more Vipers. That could be a semi-big deal. Prism is going to die. What's the carrier count? Seven carriers. I mean, there's not enough anti-air. Is there Neural? There's Neural Parasite. It's all going to be about the Neurals here in this next fight. But... I guess in theory the, the mining right here is pretty okay for Ragnarok. He's taking this base, this base. He mined out, or almost mined out all the other bases. Oh, this one is still completely empty. So I guess in the end it's just going to be some weird split map scenario. So then unit loss matters. Image creator is very far ahead. These Ravagers should die. Is he aware that the Ravagers are dead? Does he have an observer? Oh yeah, he does. That seems fast, no? Observer speed? Observer speed. Oh, what a guy. Pile by Nice. What's a good book is that? Alright, that was pretty good. I don't know about that. All well, the gateways are falling. There's still some stargates here. Bunch of void rays as well. I mean, the moment that Ragnarok pushed forward, he's gonna lose this back base. And then he needs to rebuild the tech again. There's a bunch of spores out. Here's how many? 22 spores. I think even in a direct engagement right here that, that the creator can just win. I mean, he's up 30 army supply. His upgrade on air are 2-1-1 against just 1-0. The only thing that can save Ragnarok here is honestly neural parasites. And how many, how many Templar do you have here? Six Templar? I'd love to see a mothership out again. So useful cloaking your units. Helps so much against the uh, initial neurals as well. So much harder to cast. What's the oracle count? So one of the key things is going to be figuring out where the investors are exactly and tagging them with your with your oracle. I love this. This is James Bond right here. Wait, what did he catch? Oh, he caught an immortal. Here comes the army, though. Ah, that's... It still feels scary, huh? Hello? Yeah. That feel, still feels scary. Uh-oh. We're gonna grab this. Storm! I like that. That was good. How many Templars left? One, two, three. Three Templar left. Uh, two of them full energy. They come to push forward coming out of Ragnarok. One storm completely misses. Oh, parasitic bomb. Fungals. Ah, this is not you, yeah, you're, you're gonna need better than this uh, Ragnarok. Like, there's still so much money in the bank as well. I, ah, it's gonna try again, perhaps. Nah, this is, this, this is not how you fight. This is absolutely not how you fight. I mean, he doesn't have much of an option. He needs to go. Good uh, preemptive splitting here coming out of Creator. Oh, crap. Is there still a Viper left? No, so no parasitic bombs. Here come the Neurals. No, no Neurals. One Neural, two Neural. He should definitely be trying to clear this. Couple of Fungals coming out. I mean, a single Neural on the Void Ray is not going to be able to do it as Creator picks up this game. GG gets called. And uh, fantastic win here by Creator. Good job to him. Nice little late game. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, leave the thumbs up as well. And I'll see you all next time for a new YouTube cast. Thank you all for listening. Bye-bye.